Okay, hi guys, good afternoon everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is our mid-level ballet class. It's 4 p.m. in the UK on a Wednesday, which means it's mid-level with Sarah. <laughs> uh, so guys, I've given this class a guide age of around about eight to 12 years, but that purely is just a guide age um, that is for younger students who are perhaps working up through their grades in their classes during normal time. Uh, this is also the class that I'm recommending um, adults to come and try. So those of you who have perhaps been doing the adult ballet stretch class with me, the seated stretch, or maybe even this morning you did the ballet uh, bar fitness class with me. This is an ideal class if you're looking for a more general ballet structured class um, that's a bit more manageable perhaps than the intermediate adult class I do on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So uh, hopefully something in here for you all. I'm going to be repeating the exercises today that we did on uh, Monday. So hopefully if you followed on Monday's class, you'll have a little bit more of a uh, knowledge of all the steps and exercises that I'll be doing. I've got some water with me, so hopefully you have also got some water with you. I will give you a couple of drinks breaks. You'll also need your chair as well as your ballet bar to get started. I am hooked up here um, to Instagram. So if you want to drop a comment or a message as you go through the session, Instagram uh, Live is the way forward for that. It will come straight through to me here. I'm also streaming on YouTube, so hopefully you are watching on YouTube. If you're currently watching me on Instagram, I might just say go to my homepage, click the link on my bio, and uh, it will take you straight through to YouTube, and YouTube is the best place to watch purely because I've got the best camera filming me and the best microphone picking up my voice. And also you should be able to hook it up to your TV as well. Okay, hey guys, we're gonna get started. So, ballet bar, starting with our plies. So we're gonna be starting with our feet in fifth position, placing one hand onto the chair. We'll prepare that toe lower into your second position. We'll be starting today like we did on Monday with a little port de bras. We'll take two demi plies, just softening into the arm, pushing those knees out from here, dancers all the way down into a grand plie. Remember in second, your grand plie keeps heels down on the floor. Then we come up, we wait for three lovely counts and do nothing, pulling up and two and three, a lovely long amount of time to do nothing, stretch that toe, close back into first, same thing in first. So a nice simple sequence for us, two demis, one lovely long low grand plie, hold, nothing, nothing, and stretch, close in front, same thing. Pour de bras, two demis, one plie, one, two, three, nothing, 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 and close, and the same thing, closing to the back. So, the reason I am giving us absolutely nothing to do is because sometimes I think it's really important when we're dancing and we're moving our bodies so much, is just to take that moment of still and just use it to find your posture. So during that time of not moving, keep squeezing in the abs, squeezing in the glutes, checking that spine is long, neck is long, and head perfectly balanced on the top. Okay guys, let's go for it. Are we ready, everybody? Please to begin with. Okay, prepare to second. Let's go. Pour de bras. Demi plie. Up. Demi plie. Ready for the grand plie. Down. Heels. Ready to do nothing. Stay. Hold. Squeezing. Growing up. Yeah. 
one that the importance sometimes when we're dancing of just being still. It's really quite powerful and it's quite nice um, if you're ever choreographing a dance. I know there's so many choreographic competitions uh, and shows and things. So sometimes just a moment of still in the middle of dance is really quite powerful. So remember that, it's a good, a good tip. All right, moving on. Everybody, tendu, arm to second. Front, close. Side, close to the back. Back, close. Retire. So there's your pirouette position as we take port de bras. Then we go again. Front and side and back. Now just a port de bras. Reverse it back. To the side. Close in front. To the front. Port de bras as you retire passe. Then we go back and close and side and close. Front close on a rise, you know what we're going to do. Turn around, take the arm to second, and we repeat the exercise from the top. So front, side, back, retire, passe. Front, side, back, just a port de bras, and then we reverse it. Okay, so one ton doing each of the positions, keeping those feet nice and turned out in your fifth position. Seven. Only on one side, 
at the end of the live. See if you can go back, do them on the other side. So you're not too lopsided for the rest of the afternoon and evening. The reason I do some of them only on one side is this. Well, you can't see this, I'm pointing to my clock. <laughs> it's because I'm looking at the clock ticking. That's why, but if you get the chance, go back and do that on the other side. One more exercise on the bar, and this is our grand battement, so arm out to the side. We'll do three kicks to the front, front, and close, and two. Try to get that toe back into your fifth dancers. One, and take retire, passe, like we did in our tondus. Then we go side, close front, and side, close back, and side, close front, retire, passe. Take it to the back. I face the chair because I don't have too much room. Back, and close, and back, and close, and back, and close, retire, passe. Rise up. Join the other arm up over your head and fist. Swivel around, take a port de bras, and we'll be going straight onto the other side. So this one in the class we will do on both sides. Three kicks to the front, retire, passe. Three to the side, retire, passe. Three to the back, retire, passe. Rise up, hands up, turn around, and we'll go on the other side. Okay, let's go for it. So guys, remember, grand battement. It's not about how high we can kick those legs, it's about how straight we can kick the legs. Here we go, ready? One. Lower. 
four times through. If you can dance this after your arabesque on left, so with that leg lifted at the back, try and get a very split second of balance on one leg before you close that foot into the back. All right, so try and think about pushing your head up through the ceiling and then you're gonna go onto the other side. All right, let's go for it. Use your body, go for it. Big arms and have fun. Okay, here we go. Ready? Upstage arm. Upstage arm. Downstage, all the way up. Follow it with the eyes. And chasse forwards. Looking under, create that round shape. Arms up. Arabesque, one. Lift. advanced and you're fine doing your spins we're gonna go relevate in fifth 
Relevé devant, and then we'll either take a single pirouette close behind, or if you can, go for a double. If you are doing multiple turns, what I would say is please just check your surroundings. We're at home, so we have things jutting out left, right, and center. If we were in the studio, we wouldn't have anything, so just be careful with your surroundings. But then we do the same thing on the left. All right? Tom de front, side, back, petit array. Front, side, back, pour de bras. Left, two, three, petit array. Front, side, back. Prepare and then the pirouette section. All right, guys, I'm gonna do it with you. So, of course, follow on, have fun, keep nice and tall, posture. We go front, side, to the back, material passe, pour de bras, arms up, arms down, just your pour de bras. Forgive me if there is a spelling mistake. On ballet postures. Perhaps you mean the positions? You might well mean the positions. Well, in, if you do mean the positions, then I've already done it. And it's going to be coming on the online ballet program, which I know lots of you know I've got coming out really, really soon now. I am in the process, well, I've filmed lots, and I'm in the process currently of filming lots of short video tutorials. So all of the little uh, positions and movements uh, I have filmed in individual tutorials so you can see exactly how we do those in a classical class and then how we build them into an exercise such as these ones we do in the live classes. So hopefully, happy ballerina, that might well answer your question. And someone else has just said, Vivian, you just did a double. Yes, Vivian. And Emma Rose, you just did a triple. Emma Rose, that is amazing. Fantastic. Well done, guys. Multiple turns, I love it, excellent job. Okay, we're going to jump feet in first position. So, we did this on Monday. It's one of these ones. It's a bit of a tricky one, easy but tricky. So we jump, second and a first and a second and a first, first and a second and a first and a second, second and a first, second and a first and a releve and lower, that's all. Okay, so we jump. Out and in and out and in, in and out and in and out and out and in, out and in, rise up, lower down, okay? So, it's not difficult, we're not doing anything intricate with our feet, we're just jumping out and in, but in a bit of a pattern. Out, in, out, in, in, out, in, out, out, in, out, in, out, in and rise and down. But of course, it's a saute, so it's going to be a little bit quicker than that. Let's go for it. If you go wrong, don't worry. Just keep jumping. Stretch those toes and push those knees out to the side. All right, guys, let's go for it. So, are we ready? Feet in first. Jump out. Out, in, out, in, now in. Now out. Good job, rise up, step, lower. Again, jump out. Nice job. 
job. Give those legs a shake and take a moment to breathe. Whew. Nice. Did you get that? Did you get it right? Let me know on Instagram if you got it right. And did your jumps now? Uh, fantastic. Uh, awesome. All right, guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to type that. None of the comments coming through. Okay, so one more exercise that we're going to do. And for this one, we need to start up towards the corner a little bit and give ourselves a little bit more room in front of us. Once again, we did this on Monday. So we're going to start standing on our downstage leg, our croise leg, leg closest to each other. And we're gonna take one chasse ton levé in the same arabesque line that we did in our port de bras. So it's your first arabesque. Chasse hop, balance backwards. Now I said on Monday, if you're struggling with these balances, Give it your best shot, but like I was just explaining, I have just filmed a video on how to do a balancé. So, step-by-step -step guide, which will be coming out really, really soon in the programme. Chasse ton levé, balancé. Now we do a chasse ton levé, a balancé turning, so that's your walk step. Then we're going to run and step on our downstage leg on the other side, ready to go again. Chasse ton levé, balancé backwards. Chasse ton levé, one, two, three, chasse ton levé, balancé, turning, running to the corner and standing, ready to do the whole thing again. So those balancés, especially the one turning, it's quite easy to get into a bit of a pickle. You're gonna go, one, cross behind, two, step in front, three. And on the other side, we're gonna go, once we're facing away from each other, cross behind and step, nearly dancing on top of you. Okay, so let's put the music on. Let's have one little rehearsal for so practice and then we will do it properly with the music. So save your energy. This is just a mark. Ready? Just hop, hop. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, now we take the turning. Run, start. Yeah. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, one. Turning around. some energy to do it one last time and then we'll start cooling ourselves down. If like me you don't have a huge amount of space you can have to make everything a little bit smaller. If you do have a lot of space really try and jump and travel as much as you can. Okay how are we ready dancers? So let's have our music. Chassis through. Ready. One. One, two, three, jump. Okay here comes the turn. Shoulder back and come 
up, well done guys. Let's take our arms up and go forwards. So let's try and get the chest down on the floor. Now guys, you're still gonna get a deep stretch, even if you're here. So if you're less supple, keep that back nice and straight and just lean forward without letting those legs bend, okay? And of course, if you can, let yourself go a little deeper. And bring your body up. Well done. Give the legs a hug. That's going to feel amazing. Okay, ready for splits? Let's go. So remember, do your bad leg first. If you've got a worse leg, do that one first. So we go to our kneel. Sitting up tall, one hand either side of that front leg. Come up to your triangle. Okay, start wiggling those feet. Dancers, keeping that back lit hip forwards. Let's slide ourselves down into split. And if you can, let that body go forwards. If you're not quite down, hold on with your arms. So really don't give in yet. Try not to bend those legs. Keep yourself nice and straight. Okay, dancers, bring those legs together. Nice and slowly. Okay, so now you will have your good leg to look forward to. Okay. Ready? One hand. Triangle. Let's go. Wiggle, wiggle, down we go. Okay, forwards if you can. Remember guys, if you're stretching at home, you only ever want to stretch when you're warm. So after a class is the best time. Don't try and do it when you're cold because you're going to hurt your muscles legs together. Okay, cross those legs for me. Sitting tall, just heads and necks now. Let's look to the side, to the front, other way. everybody. Whew. I hope you enjoyed. Well done you for getting all the way through your ballet class on a Wednesday afternoon. Brilliant job. So guys, as you know, all of the classes are saved on my YouTube channel, so make sure you go back. You can repeat any of them. There's 13 weeks worth of classes there for you to choose from. They're all colour coordinated, so it's nice and easy for you to look and see what colour you are. You guys watching and doing this class are yellow, so have a look for the yellow colour, and that is the mid-level class. If you found this class a little bit tricky, then look for purple, if you like my top, um, and that is the primary level one class, that's five to seven. The guides, the ages that I've put are purely just a guide. Be aware that everybody is working at totally different levels. So even if you are 10 years old, but that primary level is good for you, don't think you can't do it because I haven't put age 10 there. You absolutely can do it. It's just a guide. So please do ignore those uh, ages. That really is just to show you an ish idea, okay? And if you found this class a little bit easy, then by all means, tune in tomorrow at 5 p.m. for the intermediate adult class. So that's kind of one level up from this one. It's a little bit tricky, the steps are a little bit more intricate, but of course, we're still in the confines of lockdown for the time being, so we can't do anything too big, but, uh, but it definitely gets us a big old sweat on. So, guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Right, let's go through a couple of these messages here. Um, Elaine Gale, uh, thank you for the lesson, 
I really enjoyed it. You're really good at ballet. I feel so much stronger every lesson. That is amazing. Really, really well done. That's an excellent sign that you're feeling stronger. Um, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. You're lucky. I'm not even going to say it because she'll go off. Well, she did. Bonnie, you missed it. She went off. Do you know what? It's like every time. I think she actually wants to dance with this. So you must have missed it, Bonnie, but she did. I'm not going to say it because also I'm very aware that every time I say, you know who, that loads of you guys have it as well. So it's probably setting yours off. But she did, Bonnie, I can assure you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Vivian, thank you. Can't wait for next week's lesson. Yeah, we're going to be back on Monday doing this live at 4 p.m. Bethany, hi, Sarah. Thanks for another great lesson. Amazing. Well done, you. How was school, Bethany? Was it good? I know you're back at school now. Um... Uh, I love it, Bonnie. Oh, wait, I jinxed it at the end. You did see. I told you she went off. Yeah, fantastic. Um, yeah, they get on my nerves as well, Robert. But, you know, there we go. And Kyra, Kira, Kyra, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Really love this lesson. Thank you for taking your time to do it. It's my absolute pleasure. Um, wonderful. I'm so, so pleased. Guys, keep enjoying your dancing. It is so, so good for us in so many different aspects of life. So keep dancing, keep smiling and having fun. Guys, stay safe. I look forward to seeing and dancing with you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.